I came in the service during the Korean War. As a veteran of the U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force, Alan Hawley has deep respect for those who've served. Hey, look, this person served in World War II. He also takes deep pride in the Bellevue Cemetery, a volunteer on the cemetery committee for 13 years. What we as veterans and the cemetery committee are opposed to is this very thing. For the past year, concerned about these flag holders, something given to families of veterans who've died. This is the issue, having other than U.S. flags in those flag holders. Allen says it's disrespectful and violates the rules. But the city has a different opinion. The Public Works Department, which oversees the cemetery, says since it's publicly owned, the committee can't dictate which flags go in those holders. The Sarpy County Veterans Service Office issues the flags and holders and sent us this statement saying once those items leave our office, we don't have any control over them. Public Works Director Jeff Roberts is ready for a public hearing on the issue. I'm not going to be responsible for getting the city involved in a lawsuit, bringing in the ACLU over something that we don't feel is appropriate. He supports allowing other flags on cemetery grounds. As long as it's not something inappropriate that uh, the family should be able to have what they want on their loved ones graves. In Bellevue, James Wilcox, KTV News Watch 7.